American prospects in this World Cup here, FIFA uh, 2010 in South Africa, was almost magic. I, I never really um, was looking for America in the top, you know, in, in the finals, but I think that, um, you know, America's come a far away. Here on out, I, I'm wondering if members of this team, if they are hungry enough to want to win this thing. Um, I mean, I know we have all the seasons, football, baseball, uh, hockey, and um, basketball, and these are the top games. You make big bucks, TV all over, and so on. When I ride around communities from Florida to California, I see that uh, in the evenings and weekends, mostly Hispanic kids are out in the field, appearance out there with them and coaching them on and so on. I don't see this happening with blacks and, and whites and Asians. I don't know. And perhaps uh, when these Mexican uh, descendant kids do well, maybe they're going to play for Mexico or Spain or Portugal or somewhere else. I don't know if any of them has made the team or I'm not sure if any member of the team has been playing football as a child and been out there in, in the sun and so on at weekends. Uh, plus, they, they get right home to school, you know, home to school and home in the school bus or, or the parents drop them. Uh, in these third world countries, um, these kids, uh, Mexico and Africa, they, they uh, walk home and while they're walking home they're controlling a stone or some can or some ball along the road and um, the games they play out there catch and you, you, you dodge in from others and so forth these are things that people have to learn but these are things that are instinctive to poor folks and folks in the third world so I, I think also the, the, the football philosophy seems to be different now perhaps if they get a coach from Spain uh, no from say for, uh, Brazil, uh, Mexico Argentina, I think they have a different football doctrine that could make a big difference. For example, I think that uh, a lot of times um, the Brazilians play, they play the ball around, passing the ball wide and far. Some players play in micro games, you know, playing passes, part and pass back, everybody wants to score perhaps. Um, for example, if you're on the side, you kick the ball against the opponent, let the ball go off and then, you know, you get another shot at it, you come closer. And then you know you play well in there, and you kick the ball up, and somebody hit it or head it in, or or you know chest it in, or foot it in, whatever. But I think the philosophy needs to change, and they need to look at the coaches to see if they have that experience themselves of playing game from small, and which if it's a part of them, and in a part they respond automatically to um, yeah, some strategy and so forth. I think if they cons consider these, maybe we're gonna win the next time around.